And then just start to bring awareness to the breath. Just beginning to notice the natural rhythm. Not forcing anything, just simply noticing it. Just beginning to feel the body breathe. Noticing any sensation that arises. And just staying with this involuntary breath, just simply noticing it. I'm going to begin our class with a mantra. This is the Asatoma mantra. So if anyone knows it, feel free to kind of chime in with me, even though you're on mute. So this mantra, we really just pray, or it's a vibration, whatever resonates with you, just for peace and strength, which is something I feel like we can all use right now. So again, option if you know it, just to chant along with me. I'll do it three times. Om Masatoma Sagamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritangamaya Om Shanti 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 Om Masatoma Sagamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritangamaya Om Shanti 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 Om Asatoma Sagamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritangamaya Om Shanti 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 So again, just finding that vibration of peace and strength as we move into our practice today. I'm taking a couple more rounds of breath where you are. <clears throat> Before we find any movement, we'll move into Kapalbhati breathing. So this is a breath to build more energy and heat within the body. So if you're unfamiliar, the inhale is passive and the exhale is a little bit more forceful, I guess you could say. So it looks something like this. So it's all through the nose and you feel the navel draw to the back of the body on the exhale. So we'll start with 30 together. So take a deep inhale. And again. Finish up your round of 30 and come back to your normal breath. We'll do two more rounds like that. Take a deep inhale and begin when you're ready. Finishing up that round of 30, normal breathing. And then last time through, take a deep inhale and begin. After 30, come back to your normal breath. You might notice a heating sensation through the abdomen. Maybe the body gets a little bit warmer. Maybe the mind starts to feel a little bit more awake and aware. And then we just move that energy into our practice. So coming into tabletop, we'll start onto all fours. And so we're not seeing everybody. <laughs> and we'll just move into chakra vikasana. So bringing your hands a little bit farther up than tabletop. On your inhale, you'll find something similar to a cow. So just lower the belly, lift the head and the chin. 
And on your exhale, you'll start to tuck the chin, press the hips back towards the heels. So kind of like a child's pose. And then again on the inhale to come back through, finding that cow, lower the belly, lift the chest. And again, exhale, start to tuck the chin, bring the hips back towards the heels. And then just take that at your own pace. So try to find really expansion through the breath. So inhaling as much as you can. Maybe you sip in a little bit more air after the inhale. And then really lengthening and deepening the exhale as you go back. Just taking a few rounds on your own. Just think about finding full expansion of your breath. Take a couple more rounds. After your next inhale, as you come through that cow, tuck the toes and press the hips back to down dog. Maybe you start to walk this dog out, shake it out. You start to find that upside down V shape with the body. You're gonna melt the heels towards the floor. As you untuck the tailbone, lift the hips to the sky. Feel the shoulders soften down the back and away from the ears. Your steady gaze is all the way towards your navel. And then just try to settle into some stillness for a couple rounds of breath. Finding that ujjayi breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. As you lightly constrict the muscles at the back of the throat to find that audible sound. Couple more rounds of breath. And your next inhale, lift high up onto the toes. Exhale to bend the knees, find a turbo dog. Shins hover above the floor. Keep the gaze back towards your shin. Inhale, lift high up onto the toes, straighten the legs, and exhale, heels lower. Again, inhale, come high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, turbo dog. Shins hover, press the chest back towards the thighs. This time, shift the gaze forward. Inhale, plank, nice and easy. Exhale, down dog, press back. Again, inhale, high up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, turbo dog, fill the shins, hover, press the chest back to the thighs. Shift the gaze between the thumbs. Inhale, plank. Keep the head and chest lifted. Exhale, chaturanga all the way to the earth. Elbows go straight back. Untuck the toes. Inhale, little baby cobra. Take a small back bend. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Again, inhale, little baby cobra. Feel the shoulders soften down the back. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Again, inhale, little baby cobra. Yeah, this time, hover your hands. Find that pure back and core strength. Hold through the exhale. On your inhale, lift a little bit higher. As you exhale, bring your hands out wider than your max distance. Draw your right shoulder down, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, left shoulder down, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, center. One more time, exhale, right shoulder down, look over left. Inhale, center. Exhale, left shoulder down, look over right. Inhale, center. Stay lifted through the chest. Bring your hands back in line with the chest like you did in that cobra. Pull through the exhale, get strong. Lower forehead to the mat. 
Tuck the toes, engage the core. Inhale, plank, press up in one straight line. Exhale, down dog, press it back. Then a couple rounds of breath. So you might notice that since we're not in the room, we have to listen a little bit more. And it just allows ourselves to kind of trust ourselves a little bit more that we know what we're doing. And it's okay if we mess up. Maybe if you're on the wrong side today, this and that, don't worry about it, right? We're just here together, breathing, finding that community, being grateful that we can be together through this online platform. So on your inhale, lift high up onto the toes. Then just slowly tippy-toe your way to the top of the mat. At the top, inhale, halfway lift, shoulders draw down the back. On your exhale, find ragdoll, deepen in the knees. Maybe you start to sway side to side or back and forth. Any little movement that feels good, anything intuitive. You're gonna keep your feet where they are. Gently release your bind. Deepen in the knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Allow the head to come up last. We're just finding Tadasana at the top of the mat. Feel the shoulders roll down the back. And we're just start to think about standing up tall here. So you find self-confidence on your own two feet. As you root down and ground down, feeling that stability, feeling safe and secure within this moment. And then awareness comes to the core, the center, that essence of your being. And maybe you set an intention from this place today. Maybe it's for peace or strength or anything else that feels applicable to your life. And take a deep inhale, start to seal that in. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. We'll move into some dynamic hatha sun salutations to start up and warm. So keeping your feet about hip distance apart on the inhale, reach the hands up and back, take a little back bend. Exhale, hinge and fold forward, leading with the heart. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your right foot back. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, Andhyanasana, low lunge. On the exhale, frame the foot, step back to a lunge, and find down dog with the big toes touching. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, lower knees, and then chest and chin. Inhale, slide forward to little baby cobra, shoulders down the back. Exhale, lower, forehead to mat. Tuck the toes, engage the core, inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog, press it back, big toes touching. Inhale, the right leg rises high to the sky, keep the hips square. Exhale, cheetah, draw the knee towards the nose. Shift the gaze between the thumbs, step the foot all the way through. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes, inhale, Anjaniyasana, low lunge. Exhale, frame the foot, tuck the back toes. Inhale, left foot meets the right, flat back. Exhale, hinge fold forward. Inhale, reach and rise, maybe take that little back bend at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, left side, inhale, sweep the arms up and back. Exhale, hinge, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, left back. Exhale, step your left foot back. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, on Johnny Asana, low lunge. Exhale, frame the foot, find that lunge, step back to down dog with the big toes touching. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin, elbows straight back. Inhale, little baby cobra. Exhale, forehead to mat. Tuck the toes, engage the core, inhale, plank. 
Exhale, down dog, press back. Inhale, left leg high to the sky, hips are square. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose, find that control as you hug it in. Shift the gaze between the thumbs, slowly step the foot through. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes, inhale, Anjani Asana. Exhale, frame the foot, tuck the back toes to that lunge. Inhale, right foot needs the left, flat back. Exhale, hinge, fold forward. Inhale, reach and rise. Find that little back bend. Exhale, hands to heart, or maybe by your side. Take a moment just to reset, to ground back down, noticing any energy in the body. And then we'll move into more of a traditional sun A. On the inhale, reach the hands up and over, maybe palms touch, look thumbs. Exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana, forehead comes towards the shins. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, float or step it back. Here the inhale, up dog, Ardha Mukha. Here the exhale, down dog, Ardha Mukha, five breaths. Allowing the body to soften, the breath stays strong. Giving a little faith in your practice, a little trust in yourself. Bend the knees, lift the gaze, inhale, step or float, top of the mat, halfway lift. Hollow the belly, exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reach the sky, look to the sky, maybe palms touch. Exhale, hands by your side or to the heart. Good. Finding a sun B on the inhale, bend the knees, chair pose, utkatasana, maybe palms touch, lift them. Exhale, hinge and fold forward, Uttanasana, forehead towards shins. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, float or step it back. Maybe pause at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale, up dog, pause at the top of the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, warrior one, right side. Spin the back foot to 45 degrees, option palms, touch, look, thumbs. And then on your exhale, chaturanga. So just one breath for movement, but lengthening the breath rather than rushing. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Back foot spins to 45 degrees, option palms, touch, look, thumbs. On the exhale, chaturanga. You can always skip these flows as well. Inhale, up dog, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, down dog, Adha Mukha. Good, adding on some other variations. On the inhale, right side, warrior one. Option, palms touch, look to the thumbs. Exhale, frame the foot. Hug the right knee in towards the chest as you're in a plank position and a mix of a cheetah. On the inhale, extend that leg straight back, three-legged plank. Exhale, three-legged chaturanga. Lower the foot, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Back foot spins to 45. Option, palms touch, look, thumbs. Exhale, frame the foot, high on the back toes. Hug the left knee into the chest. Strong through the core. Inhale, extend the leg straight back, three-legged plank. Exhale, three like a chaturanga. Lower the foot, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Last variation, inhale, right side, warrior one. On the exhale, frame your foot. So option, slide the right foot back. Press into the palms and take a couple little hops. Maybe you get all the way up, maybe it's a centimeter. On that third hop, option to float back, chaturanga. And you can always skip those. Inhale, up dog. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, left side, warrior one. Exhale, frame the foot. Press into the palms, so slide the foot back a little bit. Take three hops. So maybe just a little bit, maybe a little bit higher. On the third one, option to float back, chaturanga. 
or you skip. And then five breaths and down dog. Allowing the body to be still so the mind can start to quiet. On the inhale, bend the knees, lift the gaze, step or float, top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, hinge, fold forward. Bend the knees, graze the ground, chair pose, Utkatasana, option, palms touch, look thumbs. Good five breaths and glow into the hips. Let's start to lift through the chest. Give a slight up dog of the chest, slight tuck of the tailbone, weight stays in the heels. This time, exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana, forehead towards shins. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Option, walk your hands about a foot forward. Really press into your palms, so feel the shoulders come past the wrist. Knees can be bent, maybe. And then option, float back, chaturanga. Plane of bent elbows. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, Malasana, Yogi Squat. Step or jump the feet outside the hands. If the feet are completely flat on the floor, you can sit on a block if needed. Start to lengthen through the crown of the head. Keep the bones draw towards the floor. Feel the spine get long and strong. Abdomen stretching and strengthening. Tuning back into the breath. Palm the mat on the inhale, lift your hips, straighten the legs, heel toe feet, hip distance apart, two fist difference. Feet fingers take the big toes, inhale, lift the head of the chest. On the exhale, hinge and fold forward, bend the elbows to the side, upper body to thighs, forehead between your shins. As you tilt the pelvis, hips come towards the sky, crown of the head melts to the floor, and then think about using side body and abdomen to deepen your fold. See if you can bend the elbows out even more. Keep your bind. Inhale, lift the head and the chest. Without folding, just exhale. Inhale, step on the hands. Padahasthasana, toes towards the wrist. Exhale, hinge, fold forward. Same thing. Bend the elbows to the side, upper body to thighs. One day, forehead between shins. Try to bring your gaze to your nose tip. And then use obliques and side body deep in the fold, bend the elbows deeper, soften the shoulders down the back. Keep stepping on the hands, inhale, lift the head and the chest. Without folding, just exhale, strengthen the spine. Inhale, Bakasana, Crow Pose, flip your hands forward, spread the fingers wide, get a good grip on the mat. You can take Malasana instead if this is not in your practice. If you're newer, you can bring your knees to the outside of the arms and then try to squeeze together. Maybe you can even keep the feet on the floor. Maybe you stay here, keep shifting gaze forward, maybe with one foot at a time, maybe lift the other. So option, if you're learning, you can take that. If you're a little more seasoned, we start with the heels together. Knees and towards the armpits, try to straighten the arms and elbows as you float up. Good, and then find your breath wherever you are for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, chaturanga, maybe float back from Bakasana, maybe step back or skip. We'll meet in down dog. Find a couple rounds of breath there. Noticing if there's any turbulence in the breath, if you can smooth it out. Inhale, right side, warrior one. Back foot spins to 45 degrees. Try to straighten the back leg. Squaring hips and shoulders to the top of the mat. Best effort. Option, palms can touch and look to the thumbs. Exhale, warrior two. Windmill the hands open. Look past your right middle finger, deep in in your front knee. Feel that front knee track over the pinky toe. Weight in the center of the body. Flip the palm, inhale, peaceful, right arm comes up and over. Exhale, warrior two. 
Straighten the leg, engage the quad. Inhale, go forward and exhale, trikonasana. Right hand comes down. Good, left arm rises. Try to lean the body back. Good, find a couple of rounds of breath. Keep pressing to the outer blade of the back foot. On your next inhale, extend your left hand up and over the ear. Try to bring the shoulder behind the ear. Pull through the exhale, maybe draw the shoulder back a little bit more. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Deep in the knee, bring the right arm up and over. Good. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, engage the quad. Exhale, go forward, trikonasana, right hand down, left arm rises. On your next inhale, extend the left arm up and over the ear. Pull through the exhale, maybe track the left shoulder back a little bit more. Inhale, peaceful warrior, deepen in the knee, right arm up and over. Good, last time, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, engage the quad. Exhale, go forward, trikonasana, right hand down, left arm rises, lean the body back. On the inhale, extend the left arm up and over the ear. Keep the gaze straight out in front. Hold through the exhale. Inhale, right arm comes up to meet it. Find your core and obliques. Pull through the inhale. On the exhale, square the hips and the body over your right leg. Keep lengthening. Lift through the chest. Arms are straight out in front. Take an inhale. Exhale, revolve triangle. Left hand comes down. Right arm rises. Maybe look to the lifted right hand. Try to track that right hip down and back. My screen keeps turning off. <laughs> Good, both legs are straight, best effort. Inhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Good, bring the right hand forward, left side of the body rises. Flex back foot, lift the heel high to the sky. Good, try to lean the body back, energy through the crown of the head. Exhale, standing splits, fold over the right leg, left toes come high to sky. Maybe forehead or chin finds the shin. You can take a couple of rounds of breath here. And then if and when you're ready, you can move into handstand or hops. And wherever you are, just be there, explore. Here for five, four, three, two, one option to play with those float backs. So inhale, lift the head and the chest, bring the palms flat to the floor, high in the right big toe. Option to float left leg to sky. Switch the legs, lay and left leg down, chaturanga. Okay, so if you take my class a lot, we play with those often. Or you can skip. <laughs> inhale, left side, warrior one. Good. Spin the back foot to 45. Option, palms touch, look to the thumbs. Deepen in that front knee, try to straighten the back leg, engage the quad. Exhale, warrior two. Weight is straight in the center of the body. Gaze is past your left middle finger. Deepen in the front knee, see if that thigh can parallel. Track the knee over the pinky toe, strong through the back leg. Flip the palm, inhale, peaceful. Left arm comes up and over, feeling side body stretch. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, engage the quad. Go forward as far as you can with the hip, and then lower, exhale, left hand down, right arm rises, trikonasana triangle. A couple of rounds to explore this posture for yourself. Lean the body back, press outer blade of back foot, feel that deep stretch. Energy through the crown of the head, and then inhale, peaceful warrior. Deep in the knee, right arm up and over. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Inhale, straighten the leg, engage the quad. Exhale, go forward, trikonasana, left hand down, right arm rises. Inhale, extend the right arm up and over the ear, gaze is straight out in front. Hold through the exhale, track the right shoulder back a little bit more. Inhale, peaceful, left bend, left knee bends, left arm up and over. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, straighten the leg, engage the quad, go forward. Exhale, Trikonasana, left hand down, right arm rises. Inhale, extend the hand up and over the ear. Pull through the exhale, maybe track the right shoulder back more, the chest lifts higher. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Last time, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, engage the quad, exhale, go forward. Left hand down, right arm rises. Inhale, extend the left arm up and over. You can move the back heel in a little bit if needed. Pull through the exhale. Inhale, left arm rises. Pull through the exhale. And your inhale, square the hips off. Lean straight over the left leg, spine and straight flat back. Pull through the inhale, get long. Exhale, revolve triangle. Right hand comes down. Left arm rises. Think about twisting over your right leg. Slight up dog through the chest. Both legs are straight. Best effort. Inhale, half moon. Left hand comes down. Right side of the body rises. Flex back foot, lift that heel high to the sky. Try to lean the body back, find balance, find core, find breath. Exhale, standing splits, fold over left leg, right toes high to sky. Forehead or chin draws to the shin. Option to move into handstand or hops if that's in your practice or stay where you are for a couple more rounds of breath. An option to play with that transition to chaturanga. So keeping that leg up high, we press into the palm, shift the weight forward high on the left big toe, and then float right leg up. Switch, land right leg down, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, five breaths. Noticing everything get a little bit softer, a little calmer, a little stronger. Step the feet together to touch. Inhale, the right leg rises high to the sky. Exhale, twist and mountain climber, tap your left tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, tap right tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Shift the gaze forward, step the foot through. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes, inhale on Dhaniasana, low lunge. Feel the shoulders soften down the back. Good. Maybe you take a little back bend if that feels good. Exhale for a side body stretch. Right hand can come to the hip, left arm up and over. If you have more space, you can take it to the floor. Inhale, hands through center. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over. Inhale, center. Exhale, cactus your arms. Spill the chest back. Spill the head back. Inhale, hands reach over head. Exhale, easy twist. Left hand comes down, lift the back leg and the right arm rises. Listen closely, so trust yourself where you're going. On your inhale, wild thing, press into your left palm. Step the right leg up and over the body. Right leg stays bent, left leg is straight. Lift the hips to the sky, let the heart open. Continue to listen, exhale, fall in star, right hand down, right leg kicks through to the top of the mat, and left arm rises.
Inhale, side plank, Vajrasasana. Left hand comes down. Right arm rises, stack shoulders, hips, and heels. Only one time here today, so any expression of your choice. Maybe you catch the right big toe, maybe tree or star. And wherever you are for another three, two, one. On your exhale, chaturanga, or maybe right to down dog, your choice. So we also practice the hymns within our practice, so non-harming. So we do what's good for the body, not pushing through injury or anything else. So you listen to your body. Just inhale the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, twist and mountain climber, tap right tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, tap left tricep. Inhale, three point. Exhale, cheetah knee to nose. With control, shift the gaze forward, step the foot all the way through. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes, Anjani Asana, low lunge. And hands reach up and over. Maybe you take a back bend if that feels good. Side body stretch. Exhale, left hand finds the hip or the floor. Right arm up and over. So just working that lateral part of the body. Inhale, center. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up and over. Inhale, center. Exhale, cactus the arms. Open the chest, fill the head back. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, easy twist. Right hand comes down. Lift the back leg. Left arm rises. this. Feel super stable in the hips. And then listen closely with control. Inhale, wild thing. Pressing to the right palm. Slowly step left leg up and over. Left leg is bent. Right leg straight. Lift the hips. Allow the heart to soften and open. Exhale, fall and star, left hand down, left leg through, right arm rises. Side plank, Vajrasasana, inhale, right hand down, stack shoulders, hips and heels, left arm rises. Same expression you took on the other side, one time here today. Maybe you make this your biggest expression. Wherever you are for three, two, one. Exhale, take your flow or right to down dog. And then five breaths in down dog. So down dog is a time for us to recharge our prana in the body. We can be still to experience more strength and allow the mind to quiet so we find less distraction. We can take that into the rest of our day. Three more breaths. Last standing flow. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, twist and mountain climber top. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber holder. Fly, maybe arm balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three point. Exhale, step the foot through and rise on the inhale, warrior one. Spin the back foot to 45, good. Strong through that back leg. Exhale, warrior two, windmill the arms over. Look past your right middle finger, deep in that front knee. Last time here, see if you can go lower every exhale. Inhale, peaceful warrior, right arm comes up and over. Exhale, modified side angle, forearm to thigh, extend the left arm up and over. Finding some dynamic movement again. Inhale, right arm up and over, peaceful warrior. Exhale, modified side angle, forearm to thigh, extend the left arm up and over. Good. Last time, inhale, peaceful warrior. 
Exhale to your fullest expression of side angle for five breaths. Parshvokanasana. Option, you can try hand pinky toe side of the foot. Extend the left arm up and over. Open the chest and look to the lifted hand. Or maybe you take a bind instead. Know if you get your fingertips in the bind easily. Next, you would work on taking a wrist. Right hand would take your left wrist and lean the body back. Two more breaths. On the inhale, gently release. Low runner's lunge, frame your right foot. On your exhale, taking a twist. So option for prayer twist, left forearm outside the thigh, if you have a bind or full bind here. Option for full revolve side angle, you can lower left hand, pinky toe side of right foot, extend the right arm up and over, back foot to 45 degrees. Three more breaths. Easy, easy, inhale, half moon. Gently unravel. Right hand forward, left leg rise. The second time, maybe you bind the back foot this time. Maybe you play and lower right hand to the heart center. Take an exhale. On your inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, ground down. Inhale, stork, right leg rises, knee to the chest. Option to stay or big toe hold, left hand, left hip, right piece finger, right big toe, extend the legs straight, shoulders and hips track in one line. Five breaths, maybe you work on bringing that leg higher. You can also work chin to shin. Inhale where you are. Exhale, take the foot over to the right. Look over your left shoulder once you find balance. Keep lifting the heel high, stand up tall, strong through left leg. Inhale back through center. Exhale, release the foot, point the toe, find balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, figure four, last standing posture here. Option, you can do a straight leg forward fold. Maybe bend the knee. You can find regular figure four, hands at heart center. If you want to take an arm balance to play with as well, five breaths here. If you're working that arm balance, palms will be flat on the floor. You'd hook that foot outside the arm and then kind of use the shin to find balance. Lift the left foot up, maybe hold, maybe extend, maybe fall. <laughs> okay, guys, wherever you are, one more breath. And on your inhale, figure four with the bend knee. Exhale, rise to stand. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees, option palms touch, lift thumbs. <laughs> Take an exhale. On the inhale, keep the knees bent, hands come to the floor. Option, Bakasana, crow pose to transition. Or option to skip and just float back, Chaturanga. Or maybe just down dog. And last side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, twisted mountain climber tap. Inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, hold our flat. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three point. Exhale, step the foot through, warrior one. Inhale, rest. Exhale, warrior two. Deep in on the front knee, look past that left middle finger. Last time here today. Flip the palm, inhale, peaceful, left arm up and over. Exhale, modified side angle, forearm to thigh, extend the right arm up and over. Inhale, peaceful, left arm up and over. Exhale, modified side angle, forearm to thigh, extend the arm up and over. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale to your full side angle, Parshvokanasana. Maybe you come back to forearm to thigh. 
Option hand to floor, maybe you half bind or full bind. Okay, keep leaning the body back wherever you are, parallel the thigh, use your quads to find strength and stay where you are with stability. Two more breaths. And your inhale, gently release, low runner's lunge, frame your left leg high in the back toes. And then on your exhale, take that twist. So maybe it's prayer twist. If you're working the arm, Whatever expression you took on the other side. And then easy, easy on your inhale, unravel to half moon. Good, left hand comes down. Or, yeah. Right, so left hand down, right side of the body rises. Got an option to take that half bind. Maybe you find the back foot, maybe lower hand to heart center. And the inhale, rise to stand. And exhale there. Inhale, stork, left knee rises. With option to stay, catch the left big toe, right hand to the Make me extend the left. So maybe you're working chin to shin. <laughs> awesome, guys. Inhale, lift the head and the chest back up. Exhale, take the foot over to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Keep standing up tall, strong through the right standing leg. On your inhale, back through center. <laughs> Leg is straight. Release, take the waist. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, figure four. Cross left ankle above the right knee. Option for that straight leg forward fold. Option to work that deep and in the knee. Hands at heart center. Figure four. Maybe you take an arm balance instead. We'll take an inhale, hands back at heart center. Exhale, rise to stand, Tadasana. Inhale, chair pose, last time, bend the knees, palms touch, lift thumbs. Exhale, hands heart center. Inhale, high up onto the toes. Exhale, slowly start to lower down. Navasana, boat pose. Good, last leg posture. Good, keep the legs straight if you can. Option, hands can come behind the back and you can stay here to modify. Maybe arm straight, maybe leg straight. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Catch the big toes. Keep the legs together. Legs are straight, best effort. Point your toes. Fill the head back. Best effort, if you fall, you come back in. Five, four, do something to play with. Three, two, one, gaze forward. On the inhale, bring your legs out wide. Draw the chest through, find balance. Five, four, three, two, one, gaze forward. Release the hands, hover over the feet. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Exhale, soles of the feet together. Baddha Kanasana, peel your feet open like a buck, so pinky toes touch, arms and elbows straight. On the exhale, hinge and fold, forehead towards the floor, elbows stay towards the thighs, towards the hip bones, and then try to soften the head to the floor. Keep softening the knees down. And the inhale, rise all the way back up. Exhale there. Moving into double pigeon or fire log. So left shin will be at the um, bottom. You'll cross the right shin on top. So just flexing the feet. 
And then try to get it so the knees are kind of parallel towards one another. If you have a pillow or a block, you can place that between the thighs. If this feels like enough, you can stay here. Or option to take opposite elbows behind the back. An option to hinge and fold forward. Getting in a little bit more, maybe a nice release in the low back of the forehead come down. And an option to keep grabbing opposite elbows to work that shoulder mobility and strength. Inhale, rise all the way up. And your exhale, moving into a seated twist, Ardha Matsandrasana. You'll just step your right foot over, bring your left foot back, heel by the sits bone. You have an option just for any twist that you know. Maybe you take a bind. If you want to try something new for full Ardha Matsandrasana, you'll take the inside of your right foot, so the big toe side, and then right hand will wrap to the opposite hip behind the back. Then looking past your right shoulder, every inhale lengthening, every exhale twisting. Inhale, lengthen, exhale twist. Inhale, the gaze comes forward. Exhale, unravel, let it go. You can twist the other way if that feels good. And then we'll move into that figure four on the other side, our fire log. So we'll do right shin on the bottom, left leg on top, turn across the shins in line. Soften the knee down. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> and then option to take opposite elbows behind the back, working shoulder mobility and strength, and maybe you hinge and fold forward. Head can also come onto a block or a pillow. You inhale, slowly come back up. Moving into that seated twist, Ardha Matsandrasana. Exhale, step your left foot over, the right foot bends back. And then taking any twist you know, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Maybe it's a bind through that triangle. Or option, you try to close that gap. Take the inside of your left foot. Wrap the left hand back. Catch the thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, the gaze comes forward. Exhale, unravel, let it go. Both soles of the feet stay grounded onto the earth and then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Setting up for those back bends. So we'll do three rounds of five breaths. We'll do them continuously. So if you're in bridge, after five, you'll just exhale, lower the hips down, and inhale, lift back up. If you're in wheel the whole time, you can exhale the crown of the head to the floor and inhale, lift back up. All right, so inhale, prep your hands and feet for bridge or wheel. Exhale there, and then inhale, lifting into it. Here for five. Four. Three, two, one. Exhale, tap the hips or the crown of the head down. Inhale, lift right back up. Here for five. Breath is nice and easy, calming the nervous system for four. Rooting down through all four corners of the feet. Feel strength and stability through the lower body. Two. As the heart softens, you find more space through the chest, more opening. Exhale, tap the hips to the crown of the head down. Inhale, lift right back up. Last five. Easy, easy. Here for five. Four. Three. Two. One. 
two, two again, and one. Good, exhale, lower down. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide, Supta Baddha Konasana. Just gonna allow everything to let go, to relax. And you can place one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Just being grateful for three things in your life today. And take a deep inhale, sealing all of that in. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Place the hands under the knees, gently draw them together in towards the chest. And finding your favorite restorative inversion, maybe happy baby, shoulder stand, or waterfall. We'll find eight breaths. And three more breaths. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Finishing with the supine twist. Knees in towards the chest, hands to a T. Exhale, legs fall over to the left. Gaze comes over the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, legs fall to the right, gaze to the left. This twist allow ourselves to go a little bit more inward. Finding a sense of peace as we set up for that final rest. Just preparing the body for stillness. Inhale to come back through center, unravel the legs. Give yourself a little hug, wrap the arms around the shins, find that self-love. Exhale, eyes to knees for Apanasana. Inhale, lower the, four, the head, neck, and shoulders. Exhale, release your legs out straight. Hands come by your side. If you have a blanket that you wanna place over the body to keep all that energy in, or a bolster to place under your knee. So just setting yourself up for final rest. I'm just gonna lead a short little yoga nidra for about five minutes or so, and then just allow you guys to rest for as long as you'd like. So just taking up as much space as you'd like. With every exhale, you can start to feel the body soften. Maybe it melts into the earth. And with every inhale, feeling present to the moment. And the idea here is just to let go of any burdens that are carried through the mind or from the body. Just to find that total state of relaxation, of rest, allowing us to rejuvenate for the rest of our day. So as you're here, just take five deep breaths. Allow them to be diaphragmatic breaths. With every exhale, feeling more relaxation. And as you're here, just start to bring awareness to where the heels meet the earth. And just feeling the earth pulling the heels in. And 
And bringing awareness to the calves, to the point where they meet the earth. Awareness to the back of the thighs, feeling the earth pulling them in. Awareness to where the buttocks meets the earth. Awareness to the back of the hands placed on the earth. Awareness to the elbows and the earth. Awareness to the shoulder blades and to where they meet the earth. Awareness to the back of the head, gently touching and meeting the earth. And then awareness of all of these points together as one, where they meet the earth. Taking up that space. Do you feel that sense of release in the entire, entire body? Feeling supported by the earth within this moment. And perhaps you feel the earth taking away any burdens that you have in the mind or the body. With every exhale, you feel them drift away as the body maybe becomes lighter and softer. And then just bring awareness back to that diaphragmatic breathing. And just using that breath to continue to feel that release, that re relaxation. And doing this so the body can feel completely rejuvenated. The time is 11.05. You can stay and rest here for as long as you'd like. Again, my name is Carol. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll share some information on that opening mantra that I did on my page. My page is Free Spirited Wanderer. If you have questions, you can also reach out to me, carol at freespiritedwanderer.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Much love. Please rest as long as you need.